I actually saw on Facebook that there's going to be this presentation by some guy who rode up and down the Americas, and I thought, I gotta go see that. And I was like, wow, it's the same guy who's going to be here today in person. <laughs> My name is Dominic Gill with the documentary Take a Seat. I've, I've just spoken to a bunch of uh, keen listeners about two journeys I did. One from Alaska to Argentina on a tandem bicycle picking up strangers over two years. And my second adventure about cycling across uh, America on a special tandem uh, designed to uh, have uh, disabled or impaired riders on the front seat. Very inspiring, actually. I've been watching uh, all the episodes. I met a man called Ernie Greenwald, who was a 73-year-old lymphocytic leukemia sufferer who had always dreamed of cycling across America. Which was actually the bicycle journey that inspired what's currently showing on Universal Sports. I really wanted to make that dream come true for him, so I went about sourcing a special bike that would make it possible for, for me to help him out. Uh, and yeah, make his dream come true. First one, I thought, mm, we'll see. You know, this was this is a boy's own adventure, uh, and it wouldn't have mattered if I hadn't written a book or hadn't made a documentary. But it all went my way. And the second one, I set out specifically with that in mind. Sadly, yeah, I only became too uh, too sick to take part in the journey. But instead, we opened up the journey to ten other people who had an impairment or disability that would prevent them from making this kind of adventure alone and they took it in turns in 10 separate lakes to travel across the country with us. Really interesting, really good. Uh, kind of makes me want to go, well, I sold my bike about a month ago and uh, now I want to go buy a bike and I want to quit my job and I want to ride across the United States. Cycling is a, is a fantastic activity, uh, not only because, uh, you know, you can anyone can ride a bicycle so it's, it's very inclusive, but also it, the the amount of interaction you can have on a bicycle is massive. It takes you through places fast enough to see a lot of scenery and slow enough to smell here and, and see everything on the way. So uh, there are no car, no no doors, no windows like a, like a car, nothing to prevent you from being saturated uh, in the, the culture uh, within which you're traveling. So like, I was cycling now, and one day I came across a family with a triple bicycle, uh, two twins, and the mother riding on a different bike. I, 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 I didn't want to be on the same course as them because it would be a case of, oh, you're like the other guys that went to, but not quite as cool. <laughs> So come join me at uh, an REI store somewhere near you, uh, in which I will probably be doing a talk about both my journeys and, and showing videos. So I look forward to seeing you there. <laughs>